Hey guys, welcome back. Yes, it's the Aviator Pro and I say to all Aviator players, good luck in this endeavor of making money on Aviator. Yes, I just got in now and I missed the pink there. As you can see, I think it's on 9, 10, that's a pink. And this is the time that I always wish I was in, you know, and I just missed it by a few seconds, right? So just checking the history there. You can see there's been about four pinks if i'm not mistaken and then this is the fifth one and this fifth one is quite a decent pink it goes over 50 and it disappears on 54.22 which was a good one i should have just come in at the same time right but what i want you to note is my balance at this stage uh, i started off with about 28k and i just want to show you that you need a lot of patience in this game because i know many of us then lose patience along the way and as a result we end up losing so one thing that i want you to notice okay this is a quite a very uh, short video but what i want you to see is the patience that i have uh, from when i start uh, with 28 and where where i end because it's not always when the aviator is, is paying uh, very good Right, so what you see, there's one uh, thing that peop many people call the happy hour. Right, the happy hour is mostly where you see a lot of pinks, a lot of big pinks, and many people will be happy cashing out and stuff like that. But one thing that you realize that many of uh, the players do not withdraw, maybe after gaining some profit. What's very important to note there is, remember, the aviator is not going to pay every second. You should know that in every hour or every minute. The number of times that the aviator pay like very good pinks is very little. I mean, in percentage wise, I probably think it's like four or five percent of the day. Most of the times it's just blues and purples, right? So what I note is uh, during this time, there's been, there had been already like three, three pinks. And just when I got in, there was the fourth pink. And now I've just seen a fifth pink. And what you see is I didn't really take advantage of the second one because I'm expecting a 15x. So it's not always where you are expecting something to happen, then it, it really does happen. At times it doesn't. And this really looked like a happy hour. So I decided to lower down my bars a little bit and uh, pick a, 15, a, a 10x as, as, as opposed to a 15x. And funny enough, I had missed the previous one and now I get this one. Uh, but then it, it, it goes beyond that. I'm sure this is what many would call a happy hour. And this is the time, looking at my balance, this would have been my the time that I would have just gone for it and I would have probably picked up a 20K. But what I want to show you is the power of patience. When you become patient and things start happening the way uh, you would want them to go, and maybe just try and see if you can uh, try to uh, benefit from that, uh, from the way it runs. Now you see, ever since I came through, there's already been two pinks. I missed the first one, and the, the, third, the, the, the second one is a very good pink. But unfortunately, because it wasn't part of my strategy, I, I lost out on it. That doesn't matter, because what is important, like I always emphasize, is the power of uh, patience and sticking to your strategy. So my strategy here was, let me get in. I still stick to my 5X and the 15X. I'll grow like that. And then when I get a chance, uh, maybe when I go up, I pick up another 5, 6, 7K or 8K or probably 10K, I get into the 40s. Then I go out again. Like I always say, you have to play in sessions. I mean, that's my recommendation. I've tried it and I've seen that it really works. And when I come back, then I'll start playing a little bigger or maybe I'll start go for, going for, for bigger pinks, right? So I give myself a limit to say, when I go to the 40s and I log out in the next session, I'll just try to come in at my right time and then try and uh, target bigger pinks. I'm sure you've seen on other videos where I skip a 5X and I go for 10X for the first one or 15X for the uh, first one. And then I let the next one run and try to maybe catch it at 30X or a 50X. I mean, depending on how I feel. But for now, what I want you to just note is I'm still sticking to my strategy, right? So my recommendation to you guys is when you have a chance to play Aviator and probably you've got a decent balance, do not continue to play all the time. I mean, uh, for, for more than 20 minutes, more than 30 minutes, 
because I've done that and what I want you to do is not to repeat the mistakes that I've done uh, unless if you also want to try and walk that path and, and, and see if it really works. It will not work eventually. You might spend so long, but eventually you realize that you just get depleted. So what's important for you is that you just need to stay focused and have a strategy from the beginning and keep running with that strategy, right? So as you can see, I continued, I picked up my, my, my 4.68X, right? And uh, I'm still going. So that 5X keeps me afloat always. And uh, it's not really that one has to use a 5X. At times you have to drop it down to 3X if you can, uh, or 5, 4X, or maybe just do as you feel between 3 and 5X, but always try and make sure that you don't get maybe things like 2X and stuff like that, because 2X won't get you anywhere, uh, because you'll be finished quickly. But now you realize I'm still roaming around the 20, 29, 28, I go to 30, I go come back to, go to 27, I go back again to 28. That's the sort of patience that we will be talking about, right? So you're waiting for, for, for the right time to strike. So what happens with most players of the aviator game is they start getting a little bit impatient and they really want to go for it uh, quickly and they, they, they want to continue, right? As you can see that history there, it's a very good history. I mean, to be honest with you, I always wished I was there before when the other pinks uh, came through. But then anyway, it's, it's not much of a problem. And when it's like that, and if you look at the history like that, you always realize that it has already paid and the chances that it will continue playing are, are paying are very low. So you have to be very cautious. So at this point, I tell myself, if I go down below uh, 25K, then I'm not going to continue playing. I have to log out. But let's see how it goes because I'm not 100% sure whether the happy hour is still on or maybe it's going to go away anytime soon. So I keep my patience and I keep on sticking to my strategy, a 5X and a 15X, right? So what I don't know is, is it still going to come or what I saw uh, is the end of it. But all I do is just to tell myself, if my money gets to this point, I'm going to log out, which is one thing that many of the players that are playing Aviator will not be able to do. And that's my emphasis for today to say, be patient and know when to strike. So I can tell you, to be honest, that there's so many times that I've played Aviator for hours, like on a Saturday or maybe on a Friday, I start pay, uh, playing Aviator, maybe say about uh, 4 p.m., then I go into 5 p.m., 6 p.m., but I always play uh, in, in sessions, right? So 6 p.m., 7 p.m., I choose my times wisely, uh, 8 p.m., 9 p.m., 10 p.m., 11 p.m., maybe by midnight I'm going to sleep. But when I check my balance, I just see that my balance is almost exactly the same way it was. Or if I gained anything, maybe I gained 2K or 3K. Or if I lost anything, I lost maybe another 1K or 2K after all that long. Right, so it's not always that I try to go for it, even if it doesn't make sense. So it's important that every other aviator player try and see when it is the perfect time to strike, right? Choose a perfect time to strike. How do you choose the time? First of all, work on your building, right? Like you see, I've built enough there. I've got about, I'm, I'm around the twenties, but I'm still telling myself, okay, I'm not going to go for, for the big ones, right? Like you see the previous pink, I really never uh, took advantage of it, simply because I, I got the first one, but the second one uh, just, just went just like that because I was sticking to my 15X, right? So I've gone down to about 27.5, uh, and remember I started off at about 28. So because of that, I'm still targeting that, and I'm going to continue playing till maybe I get to a very good one. If I get a very good pink, especially if I pick up two 15Xs, that's about 6K, and maybe plus two 5Xs, that will give me about 8K. From there, I can log out. When I come back, I come back with a decent balance, and that decent balance will just take me up quickly. It's very, very easy to play Aviator when you've got money, right? So many people think, oh, well, maybe the Aviator Pro has got maybe a, a little bit of money and where can we get so much money? No, 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 it's not about that. What's important is maybe to play with the ratios. Where you see I've got a thousand, 
you can put yourself a hundred and then uh, like a hundred and then divide the numbers by ten you'll see that the gradual growth is just there to anyone and what I want you to see is now what I'm gonna pick up now I continue with the same strategy I uh, pick up my first 5x as usual right I get my thousand there and it's just on the dot which is very unusual then on the second one because I had seen what has been happening on top there uh, I tried to pick up that one and I, I, I just lost it and I couldn't get it but then it's just my time to say okay fine I end here I'm not going to go any further I log out then I'll come back another time to see if I can strike it so that sort of patience is what you need rather than keeping on placing and placing and placing and then at the end of the day you start losing and you when you go down now you get so frustrated and then you end up losing all the way to zero and once you lose to uh, all your money you start thinking straight now then you start regretting why did i do this or maybe why did i not stop at this point yes the reason is you didn't stop at the right time that's why it's important remember this play in sessions don't play continuously even if you don't make profit it's fine just log out come to strike another time when you get the right time you strike like the snake like the cobra the egyptian cobra i hope you have a great one guys next video coming very soon and good luck to all the players.